click on start icon then in the search bar type task manager click here to open it on this window click on file then select run new task on this window click on browse button now we need to select this PC then open C drive now just scroll down and open Windows folder from here we need to open this folder then just scroll down and search for cmt.exe select this and click on open after that simply check this box and click on ok it will open command prompt window so we already have a list of commands to make it easy for you and to avoid mistakes simply open google chrome then type here google.com and hit enter now in the search bar type house.tech windows commands and click here to open it now click on this link which is from www.house.tech on this window just scroll down and search for command number 12 so copy this command simply click on this right click and select copy now go back to command prompt window and right click on command prompt to paste and hit enter to execute it after that copy command number 13 go back to command prompt window right click on black area and simply paste that and hit enter to execute it once done close this command prompt window go to the search bar and type your services click here to open it then search for print spooler double click on it it will open the properties and then select startup type as automatic and click on start once done apply the changes and then go to dependencies then now scroll down now open the properties of dcom server process launcher then you need to set startup type as automatic and start the service after that scroll down and open the properties of rpc endpoint mapper do the same process for this one also once done close this window and then open troubleshoot settings go to other troubleshooters and run the printer it will try to detect the problem after that go to search bar and type your file explorer click here to open it then go to C drive open windows folder then open system32 folder go to spool folder and open printers folder now select all these files and just delete them once done close this window finally restart the system which is very important before you do that like this video god bless